Scene script. Have you ever stopped to ponder the sheer number of cars on this planet? It's a staggering thought, isn't it? Cars, those four-wheeled marvels of engineering, are everywhere. They're an integral part of our daily lives, changing not only how we move, but also how we live, work, and interact with the world around us. From the bustling city streets to the quiet country roads, from the vast highways stretching across continents to the narrow lanes winding through picturesque villages, cars are a ubiquitous presence. They've transformed landscapes, shaped economies, and redefined our concept of distance. But have you ever wondered just how many cars there are in the world? How this massive fleet of vehicles compares to the number of people? Or how it's distributed across different countries and regions? It's not just about the raw numbers, it's also about understanding the scale of car ownership and production globally, and the implications of these figures. Cars play a central role in our transportation systems. They connect people and places, facilitate trade and commerce, and enable a level of mobility unparalleled in human history. Yet, they also pose significant challenges, from traffic congestion and air pollution to resource consumption and climate change. In this video, we're going to delve into some hard-to-imagine facts about the sheer number of cars on Earth. We'll explore the landscape of global car production and ownership, examine the economic and environmental impacts of this vast fleet of vehicles, and look at trends shaping the future of transportation. We'll consider the leading car-producing countries, the concept of cars per capita, the rise of electric cars and alternative fuels, and much more. We'll also touch on the historical evolution of cars, changing ownership trends, and the challenges posed by traffic and congestion. So buckle up and get ready for a fascinating journey into the world of cars. From the early days of the automobile to the cutting-edge technologies of today and tomorrow, we're about to embark on a road trip like no other. Let's dive into the world of cars, shall we? You'd be amazed at the staggering number of cars that populate our world. It's a number so large, it's almost hard to wrap your mind around. Picture this. There are more than 1 billion cars on the roads globally. That's one car for every seven people on Earth. Now, let's step back in time for a moment. In 1900, there were just 8,000 cars in the United States and fewer than 100,000 worldwide. Fast forward to the 1950s and we're looking at 50 million cars globally. By the end of the 20th century, that number had skyrocketed to more than half a billion. So if we've gone from less than 100,000 cars to over a billion in a little over a century, where are we headed next? Well, some projections suggest that by 2050, there could be as many as two and a half billion cars on our roads. That's a staggering thought, isn't it? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. For now, let's just focus on the present. As of today, the largest car markets in the world are China, the United States, and the European Union. China alone accounts for more than a quarter of all cars produced globally. Now, you might be wondering, where do all these cars end up? Well, the United States has the highest number of cars per capita, with nearly 800 cars for every thousand people. That's almost one car for every person of driving age. In contrast, in countries like India and China, there are fewer than 200 cars for every thousand people. But here's the thing. Even though there are more cars in the United States per capita, China actually has more cars in total. That's because China has over four times as many people as the United States. So even though a smaller percentage of people in China own cars, the sheer size of the population means there are more cars overall. And what about the rest of the world? Well, there are plenty of cars to go around, but distribution is far from even. In wealthy countries, car ownership is common, while in poorer countries, it's much less so. But regardless of where they are, one thing's for sure. Cars are an integral part of our lives. They take us to work, to school, to the grocery store. They enable us to travel and explore. They play a pivotal role in our economies, our cultures, our societies. Yet with all these cars on the roads, we're also faced with challenges. Traffic congestion, air pollution, greenhouse gas emissions. These are all very real issues that we need to address. But that's a topic for another time. For now, let's just marvel at the sheer number of cars in the world. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? Ever wondered which countries are the powerhouses of car production? Let's shift gears and delve into the world of car manufacturing. The automobile industry is a driving force in the global economy, with several countries leading the pack in production numbers. China, for instance, is a titan of the automobile industry. As the most populous country in the world, it's no surprise that China also takes the top spot when it comes to car production. With an impressive array of both domestic and international brands under its belt, 
China's automobile factories are roaring day and night to meet the ever-growing demand. Next in line, we have the United States, a country known for its love affair with cars. From the classic Ford Model T to the revolutionary Tesla electric cars, America's contribution to the automobile industry is nothing short of monumental. The land of the free is home to some of the biggest car manufacturers in the world, which in turn significantly contributes to its economy. Then we have Japan, the birthplace of brands like Toyota, Honda, and Nissan. These brands have become household names worldwide thanks to Japan's commitment to quality, innovation, and efficiency. Germany too commands a strong presence in the car manufacturing scene. Synonymous with precision and luxury, German car manufacturers like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Volkswagen are renowned for setting high standards in the industry. Lastly, let's not forget about India and South Korea. These two Asian nations have made significant strides in car production, with brands like Hyundai, Kia, Maruti Suzuki, and Tata Motors making their mark globally. So what does this all mean? Well, the economic implications of car manufacturing are vast. It's not just about the cars, it's about the jobs, the investments, and the technological advancements that come along with it. These countries are not just making cars, they're driving economic growth, innovation, and global trade. These countries certainly fuel the world's mobility. Car ownership is not evenly distributed across the globe. As we delve into the concept of cars per capita, we find a fascinating tapestry of cultural and economic influences that shape car ownership. Let's start with a snapshot of the global scene. In many Western countries, car ownership is a rite of passage. For instance, in the United States, there's roughly one car for every person of driving age. That's a staggering figure when you stop to consider it. And it's not just the US countries like New Zealand and Italy also boast high cars per capita ratios. But if we shift our gaze to other parts of the world, the story changes. In nations like India and China, despite their massive populations, the cars per capita ratio is significantly lower. A variety of factors contribute to this, including urban density, public transportation systems, and the cost of owning a car. Now, what about the countries with the least cars per capita? Many of these are in Africa, where factors such as low income levels, lack of infrastructure, and the high cost of vehicles mean that car ownership is out of reach for many. So what influences these disparities in car ownership? Well, there are a variety of cultural and economic factors at play. In many Western societies, owning a car is tied to personal freedom and independence. It's a symbol of status and success. In contrast, in some Asian cultures, the emphasis on public transportation and environmental sustainability has limited the growth of personal car ownership. Economic factors also play a significant role. Wealthier countries tend to have higher rates of car ownership. In contrast, in developing nations, the cost of owning and maintaining a car can be prohibitive, leading to lower rates of car ownership. In conclusion, when we talk about cars per capita, we're not just discussing numbers. We're exploring cultural values, economic realities, and societal norms. Car ownership is indeed a reflection of a country's socioeconomic landscape. The car landscape is not static. It's shifting towards sustainability. As we delve into the world of electric cars and alternative fuels, we're witnessing a transformation that's as revolutionary as the invention of the automobile itself. In the past decade, the number of electric vehicles on the road has skyrocketed. From a negligible presence, these silent swift machines have captured significant market share, with millions now zipping around the globe. This surge is not just a trend, but a testament to our collective will to curb carbon emissions and combat climate change. And it's not just electric cars that are making waves. Vehicles powered by alternative fuels, such as biodiesel, ethanol, and hydrogen fuel cells, are also gaining traction. While these technologies are still in their infancy, they hold great promise for a future far less reliant on fossil fuels. The impact of these eco-friendly technologies on the overall car landscape is profound. They're not only changing the way we drive, but also reshaping the automotive industry. Manufacturers, once committed to internal combustion engines, are now investing billions into developing and promoting electric and alternative fuel vehicles. An industry that was once part of the problem is now striving to be part of the solution. This shift towards sustainability is also influencing our urban landscapes. Charging stations are sprouting up in cities and towns, replacing the familiar site of gas stations. 
Infrastructure is adapting to accommodate this new breed of vehicles, signaling a shift in our societal norms and expectations. Electric cars and alternative fuels are not just a fleeting fad, they represent a profound shift in our approach to transportation, one that prioritizes sustainability and environmental responsibility. From the garage to the highway, these vehicles are transforming our daily lives and our world. In this era of climate crisis, the growth of electric cars and other sustainable technologies offers a beacon of hope. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to adapt and innovate in the face of challenges. A green revolution is indeed underway in the car industry. As we continue to navigate towards a sustainable future, these alternative vehicles will play an increasingly central role. They are not just vehicles of change, but vehicles for change. Cars have come a long way since their early days. A statement that's as true as it is simple. But let's journey back in time and trace the roots of the automobile. The genesis of the car industry can be traced back to the late 18th century with the invention of the steam-powered vehicle. However, it was not until the late 19th century, when Carl Benz gave birth to the first gasoline-powered car, that the automobile as we know it today began to take shape. Many years later, in the early 20th century, Henry Ford revolutionized the industry with the introduction of the Model T and his game-changing innovation, the assembly line. This not only made cars more affordable for the average person, but also set a new standard for mass production worldwide. The mid-20th century saw the rise of stylish and luxurious cars, reflecting a post-war economic boom. Brands like Cadillac, Rolls-Royce and Ferrari became symbols of status and prestige. Then came the oil crisis of the 70s, which triggered a shift towards smaller, more fuel-efficient cars. This paved the way for Japanese manufacturers like Toyota and Honda to make their mark on the global stage. Fast forward to the dawn of the 21st century, and we see the advent of hybrid and electric vehicles. Spearheaded by companies like Tesla, this era marks a significant shift towards sustainable and environmentally friendly transportation. And let's not forget about the ongoing advancements in autonomous driving technology. The prospect of self-driving cars, once a staple of science fiction, is closer to reality than ever before. From steam to gasoline, from luxury to efficiency, and now towards sustainability and autonomy, the evolution of cars is a fascinating journey through time. It's a journey that reflects not just the changing needs and desires of society, but also our capacity for creativity, innovation, and adaptability. The car industry is indeed a testament to human ingenuity and innovation, and as we continue to move forward, who knows what exciting new developments lie ahead on the open road of the future. How we own and use cars is changing. Indeed, the landscape of car ownership is shifting as dramatically as a sports car changing gears on an open highway. In the past, owning a car was a rite of passage, a symbol of freedom and independence. But today, it's not so simple. The rise of car sharing services like Uber and Lyft is transforming the way we think about car ownership. Why buy a car, pay for insurance, maintenance, and parking, when you can just summon a ride with a few taps on your smartphone? Car sharing services are not just a trend, they're a testament to our evolving relationship with cars. But it's not just about car sharing. The impact of technology on our relationship with cars is profound. Today, cars are more than just vehicles, they're smart devices on wheels. With the advent of connected car technology, our cars can now interact with our smartphones, our homes, and even with each other. This tech revolution is changing the way we use and perceive cars, making them an integral part of our digital lives. And let's not forget about autonomous vehicles. The idea of self-driving cars was once the stuff of science fiction, but today, it's becoming a reality. Companies like Tesla, Waymo, and Cruise are leading the charge in this exciting new frontier. As autonomous technology continues to improve, we can expect to see more self-driving cars on the roads in the near future. This shift towards autonomous driving could fundamentally change the concept of car ownership. In a world where cars can drive themselves, do we even need to own a car? Or can we simply subscribe to a service that provides us with a self-driving car whenever we need one? The journey of car ownership is taking a new road, driven by technology, changing lifestyles and evolving societal norms. The future of car ownership is bound to be exciting. As we accelerate towards this future, one thing is certain. The way we own and use cars will continue to change, shaping the landscape of transportation in ways we can only begin to imagine. 
With great numbers come great challenges. And when it comes to the sheer volume of cars on our planet, those challenges manifest themselves in a myriad of ways. One of the most evident and pressing of these is the issue of traffic congestion. You've probably experienced it yourself, sitting in a sea of idle vehicles, inching forward at a snail's pace, the minutes ticking away. Traffic congestion is more than just a daily annoyance. It's a global issue with far-reaching implications. When we talk about congestion, we're not just discussing the frustration of a delayed commute or the inconvenience of a jam-packed city street. We're talking about a problem that affects our economies, our environment, and our quality of life. Think about the economic costs. Time spent in traffic is time that could be used productively elsewhere. According to a report by the Center for Economics and Business Research, traffic congestion costs economies billions of dollars each year. These costs come in the form of lost productivity, increased transportation costs, and higher prices for consumers. And then there's the environmental impact. Cars idling in traffic produce more greenhouse gases and pollutants than cars in motion. This contributes to air pollution and climate change, affecting the health of our planet and its inhabitants. But it's not all doom and gloom. Recognizing the problem is the first step towards finding solutions. Cities around the world are taking innovative steps to address traffic congestion, from improving public transportation systems and promoting carpooling to implementing congestion charges and optimizing traffic light patterns. Steps are being taken to ease the burden of traffic. Yet these solutions require us to rethink our relationship with cars. We need to consider whether we can share rides, use public transportation, or even cycle or walk for shorter trips. It's about finding a balance between the convenience cars provide and the impact they have on our world. Traffic is indeed a price we pay for our love of cars, but it's a price that with thought, innovation, and a shift in mindset, we can work to reduce. The car's footprint extends beyond the road, this statement rings true when we consider the environmental impact of the vast number of vehicles that hum, purr, and roar across our planet daily. But what exactly does this environmental footprint entail? For starters, there's the issue of emissions. Cars powered by traditional fossil fuels emit a cocktail of harmful gases, including carbon dioxide, a leading contributor to global warming. These pollutants not only affect the Earth's climate but also have a significant impact on air quality, leading to health issues for millions around the globe. But wait, it's not just about what comes out of the tailpipe. The production of cars also contributes to their environmental impact. Manufacturing processes require a significant amount of energy, much of which comes from non-renewable resources. Additionally, the extraction and refinement of materials used in cars, such as steel, aluminum and plastic, also come with their own environmental costs. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. There are initiatives in place aiming to reduce this environmental impact. One such initiative is the push towards electric vehicles. These cars produce zero tailpipe emissions and can be powered by renewable energy sources. They represent a major step forward in reducing the environmental footprint of our transportation. Then there's the concept of car sharing, which aims to reduce the number of vehicles on the road by encouraging people to share rides. Fewer vehicles mean less pollution and less resource consumption. And let's not forget about advancements in fuel efficiency. Modern cars are becoming more efficient, meaning they use less fuel and produce fewer emissions than their predecessors. Looking forward, there's a growing focus on sustainable materials in car manufacturing. Automakers are exploring the use of recycled and bio-based materials, aiming to reduce the environmental impact of their production processes. In conclusion, while the environmental impact of cars is significant, it's encouraging to see the steps being taken to reduce these effects. As we continue to innovate and shift our focus towards sustainability, we can hope to see a future where cars coexist harmoniously with the environment. After all, the environment is indeed a key stakeholder in the world of cars. Making a car is no small feat. It's a complex process that involves precision, planning, and a plethora of resources. Picture this. A single car is made up of about 30,000 individual parts. That's right, from the smallest screw to the largest body panel, each component is meticulously designed and assembled. But the complexity doesn't stop there. These parts come from a variety of materials like steel, rubber, glass, plastics, and more. Each material undergoes its own manufacturing process before it even becomes a part of a car. And let's not forget the energy involved. From the electricity used in factories, to the fuel consumed in transporting parts and finished vehicles, the energy footprint of car manufacturing is substantial. 
The manufacturing process also involves a significant workforce, from engineers and designers to assembly line workers and quality control inspectors, it takes a village to build a car. Every car is indeed a product of immense effort and resources. The road ahead is full of possibilities. As we accelerate into the future, transportation is shifting gears to more sustainable, efficient and autonomous models. The era of self-driving cars is upon us, with tech giants and auto manufacturers vying to perfect autonomous vehicles. These driverless wonders promise to reduce accidents, optimize traffic flow and bring about a new age of mobility. Simultaneously, the vision of smart cities is gaining traction. Imagine urban environments where everything, from traffic signals to parking spaces, is interconnected, reducing congestion and improving the quality of life. Moreover, we are seeing a rise in innovative transportation methods, such as hyperloops and flying taxis, that could revolutionize how we travel, making long-distance commutes a breeze. These advancements aren't mere science fiction, they're part of a rapidly approaching future that's set to redefine our relationship with cars and transportation. The future of cars is indeed as exciting as their present. So, what do these mind-boggling figures mean for us and our planet? Well, they paint a picture of a world that's deeply intertwined with the automobile. From the staggering global car count to the leading car-producing countries, we've journeyed through the realm of four wheels. We've explored how cars per capita varies across regions, reflecting cultural and economic influences. We've also delved into the rise of electric cars and alternative fuels, a hopeful sign of a more sustainable future. We've retraced the historical evolution of cars, seeing how far we've come from the early days of the automobile. Moreover, we've discussed new trends in car ownership, the challenges of traffic and congestion, and the significant environmental impact of our car-centric world. We've even touched upon the intricate processes of car manufacturing and peeked into the future of transportation. Remember, every car counts. Drive responsibly and consider sustainable alternatives when possible. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Stay tuned for more intriguing facts. Thank you.